Um, so as long as Cody doesn't get grabbed, which also Peach's floaty, I don't know what the optimal punishes that uh, Luigi could get, but this is the other thing, because Peach has float. Yeah, I can s but I, I like this. Knowing that Peach is going to want to be floating, he's going up into the air to meet her. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was so smart. Okay, so I think this is one thing that's worth noting about the matchup. I think that the combos on Peach, just given her floatiness, her sometimes, honestly, awkward hurt boxes come into play as well. Um, we're not going to be seeing those crazy Luigi zero to deaths. Instead, Guy Guy's going to have to win this through his own guile and gumption. And so far, he's doing a pretty decent job. 79% onto a... Uh, Cody, but oh, that's right. I completely forgot. One of the reasons why this might actually be miserable for Luigi, his doo doo butts recovery. Um, and Peach is a character that she can just stall out there forever with float and wait for the exact moment. Like, if he's forced to missile, which he always is, then we'll see. Oh, there it is, the Saturn. Yo, let Luigi pick up the Saturn, because then he can't grab you. Okay, good down throw to back air. Just solid damage. There's that Cyclone. <laughs> Man, he's wanting to do something with that. But <laughs> Honk. Oh, man, we're seeing a lot of Saturn action here. Okay, that's that's the that was the... Um, I don't know if up throw Saturn to up B is true. I feel like that was a little bit of a, I wonder if this will work. And that was such a brilliant down B. Using the, I, believe, I think it's a straight up invincibility at the start of it as a way to counteract that aggressive option from Cody. Cody shielding that, but he ended up going for the full hop uh, neutral air, which just whiffed. So far, though, things still looking pretty decent. Yeah. All right, that down B will finally take it. He's been landing a lot of those. Uh, and it, it's funnily enough, because of this matchup and the nature of how these characters are in a way, I'm not going to say diametrically opposed, but if they're, especially for Luigi, if they're, sometimes there's just the move that's really what can, what is going to carry the game for you. Oh, no. Oh, um, yes. Okay, he's fine. And in this case, it might be that down B, just being able to contest those uh, Peach aerials that a lot of characters actually struggle to do. And oh my, that up air to back air. Huge damage. There's another down B. It is so long lasting. That was such a great air dodge, though, knowing that's what he was looking for. And that down air just not finishing the hits. We, this is an even game here. Absolutely an even game. I love that also. Just poking with the down tilt and going for the dash attack. Reading, just baiting him out of shield. How did he know he wasn't going to get hit by that fireball? I certainly didn't. That was so good from Cody. You saw that. Earlier, he was throwing out these preemptive hitboxes. He was getting punished by that down B. There, he hesitated. He even traded just a little bit. But it's still, he got the hit that meant something. Guy Guy evening it up, though, really quickly. This is a one stock, a one stock per player game. This is a. Uh, I don't even know who's in the driver's seat, momentum wise. I feel like this is almost like the ta tabula rasa, blank slate. Although at the moment, Cody seems to be doing pretty well for himself. All right, as I say that, this is the thing. Like, Peach will get a lot of damage, you know. So that's what she does, and then Luigi will get just as much. That was such a pivotal whiff. Oh, if he had managed to get that up B, I, if he went for it, I'm pretty sure that would have killed. There's the down B again. It just Right now, he's not even using the invincibility. It's just how long-lasting that hitbox is. What's he looking for? Just going for these jumps. What a parry, but doesn't have an actual way to kill off of it just yet. He's holding it down. That's a back air putting him way off stage. Is he going to get bumped? He just barely makes it back. Both these guys deep in the red. That's another back air putting him way off stage. He's charging up the missile. I think that should do it. Oh, no, he's still held onto his jump, and he makes it back to the stage. And a downbeat, a counterattack. That's actually going to be Guy Guy taking game one in winner's finals. Holy crap. I thought he was dead. Oh, my. So 
What should we take from that? Uh, Cody... <laughs> Cody needs to clean up the... the the, the edge guarding. Like, you saw it right there. He was off stage. He burned his jump in order to use the uh, the missile again. I feel like there's that definitely could have been checkmate, but, um, you know, Cody was maybe playing a little bit too safe. As we move into this next game, perhaps we're going to see him experiment more with trying to get you know, really effective edge guards. But regardless, I think that also, you know, the fact that God, that was a comeback. Don't forget, Gaga was at like 115 before he took Cody's first stock. Um, and he still managed to make the run back. It just demonstrates that he has good mentality. And his punished game is uh, polished enough that he can just abuse that. All right, here it comes. There it is. That's what I was looking for. And a stitch face to reward him. Just like, good job. You did it, buddy. Here, have a cookie. And the cookie is just a, a horrible thing you can do to your opponent. Okay, no, it's not going to be uh, useful this time around, but Guy Guy's going to have to make another one of those comebacks happen now. Yeah, I will say, so, you know, in that last game, I was okay. The down B was, like, a really important tool for Guy Guy. This time around, it feels like Cody is adapting. He's playing well to it. And oh, boy, yo. You're not dead? Okay. Good DI, I guess. I'm surprised about that myself. And with that survival, let's see what he can do with it. In fact, there was not enough. Cody, 148% and still not dropping. And we've seen, if he manages to get a reversal on the edge right here, if he, oh yeah, he was looking for it. He was looking for a forward throw of some kind, and okay, yeah, tries to start putting on the pressure, but Guy Guy finds the hole, managing to take out that stock. This is looking still pretty grim for him, though, 111. All right, looking for some really cool punish. Doesn't quite find it, but he's still managing to like link one hit into two hit into three hit. Oh, this is a, oh, hold on a second, that did, He's now at 72. Like, this is, <clears throat> like, by no means is Guy Guy now, you know, driving with momentum. But he is starting to wrangle it back. Yeah, Cody looking for a back air, something like that, that can put him off stage. Oh, and he grabs it. Was that also dot eyes? Man, Guy Guy also showing adaptation on his part here. Oh, no. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, all right, that up air in the end is going to do it regardless. But that's a, the misfire bat. The misfire, well, misfiring right there. He did not want that. Uh, yo, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, uh, come on. You're not going to go for some ridiculous, elaborate setup and then mess it up and then lose? What kind of Smash player are you? I guess you're the kind that's actually managed to put this game back to even. And I remember what happened the last time he turned the game even. He won it! Dang, boy! I didn't think we were going to see those. I didn't think... Like, we... As far as I saw, he was getting grabs and wasn't doing that absolute nonsense. Uh, but I guess he's saving it for the end of game two. One more game. And Guy Guy moves into grand finals. Winner's side. Has he ever done that before? I don't know if he has. Maybe he has. I don't know. I'm not going to claim to know everything that goes on here. All right, game three. Cody needs to... <laughs> regain his momentum, and really get a handle once he has a lead, because he's gotten a lead. Game one, game two, and I don't even know if I would say he didn't know how to play to it. It's just that eventually, ooh, are you dead? No more air dodge. That should be it. Yep. Good stuff to Cody. You can tell he's learning, noticing the way that Guy Guy likes to try and get back from off stage, And, uh, hmm. He goes out there to meet him. I, I really like that usage of the down air, and this is looking like a totally different story right here. 
Guy Guy trying to, oh, there's another misfire. That one actually works out well for him. Brings him all the way backstage. I love the spacing. Yeah, nice stuff right there. What a, what a world of difference. Like, I think back to game one where he was struggling to, cute, um, where he was struggling to kill Guy Guy when he was at like 130 off stage multiple times. And now he's just sending him out there and gimping him instantly. All right, that should be death. Yep, down be gonna be taking it. But this is three stocks to one and it's a uh, grim position for Guy Guy. I, yeah, granted, he's made comebacks, but never quite from this drastic of a bad position. In 76. Okay, here it is. Even more damage. I like that also. I think he was DIing towards the stage, right? Or, sorry, towards the blast zone, and that's why he uh, died. I think that normally with good DI, he should have been living, but I lived for how much longer? That was definitely Cody's game, and he sealed it out right there. Right, this is actually the counter pick stage from Guy Guy. <clears throat> Interesting that we're here at Kalos. I mean, I guess it is pretty FD-esque. Maybe that's what Guy Guy was looking for. I think also having those platforms on the side can be really helpful getting <clears throat> out of the corner specifically. And that has been something he's been a little bit struggling with. He's messed up every single one of those. That's really unfortunate for him. All right, good damage from Guy Guy. Is that gonna do it? Another back at good, good DI from Cody, managing to avoid a down B or anything like that. But 135, he has to be so careful. Dash attack's not the type of move that will do it, but a lot of Luigi's aerials will. Just needs to find a single one of them. Holding shield though, and wow, that golf club almost did it. That's gonna be death, I think, no jump. Yeah, all right, Cody. Now he's maybe going to be the comeback king here. Thor throw is not enough to kill just yet. He grabs the turnip, drops it immediately. Oh, why? No, that was absolutely a kill right there. But he didn't react to the fact that Cody had actually gone for a turnip pull. All right, neutral air. Why not? <laughs> sure, why doesn't that move kill off the top? Ooh, okay. So sometimes body blocking... Luigi is a viable way to gimp him, but right there he stole all of his resources, so instead you just ate 15%, followed shortly thereafter by another 70. Ah, Saturn. Oh! He saw that. He threw the Saturn down, then hit it with the up air to send it at that very kooky angle. Burned his jump. I'm almost certainly burned his jump. Another one of those. All right, but instantly making that stock go away. Guy guy in a great position, just because of the fact that he we've seen the the sort of damage he can rack up. Yeah, I'm looking at that, dying not quite the right way. He's gonna eat 58. <clears throat> 45, and it's all that's been dished out onto Guy Guy. Things are getting scary. What are the options he has to kill right now? I think Grab might do it. Besides that, oh, well, we'll see. Oh, no, not with that kind of stage positioning. Cody surviving, but for how long can he make this comeback happen right now? Another one of those parries into down tilt. Not the end of the world, but the damage is getting higher and higher, and I think that will do it. That back air trading, Guy Guy winning 3-1, putting himself in grand.